seen him on Shaq's All-Star Comedy Jam. You've seen him on Last Comic Standing. Guys, make some noise for the very funny LeVar Walker! What's up? How y'all doing? What the hell? You... Damn, I thought this was going to be packed. It's look like an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting we had right now. I've been here all weekend, man. It's been real fun. Uh, some fights broke out. Not here, across the street. That's a gay club. <laughs> right there. That's the first time I saw somebody. I mean, about three gay dudes jumped this dude. I, it, it was crazy. I ain't never seen nobody get knocked out with a wrist. Like, they were, <laughs> they were fucking them up. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, they nailed his ass. And all three of them got on one motorcycle and drove off. I said, damn, there's, there's some thugs around here. <laughs> Is it just me or does the lighting in Walmart make everybody look dirty? As as you, like, I don't care how much money you got. As soon as you walk in Walmart, you are dirty and poor like everybody else in Walmart. Don't you feel dirty and just disgust? It's a disgusting place. It's so nasty, man. I heard a lady in there talking, man. I say, hey, how you doing? I go to the same Walmart. Hey, how you doing? Oh, living the dream. I say, well, you need to wake up, goddammit. <laughs> this ain't no goddamn dream you living in here. <laughs> so one of the employees complaining, man, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. But you know what? I heard him tell another employee, you know what? I put my application in at Target, and I'm getting the hell up out of here. <laughs> hey, man, your ass making lateral moves, man. It's the same shit. Now my wife came up with an idea of talking to us. She, she going to tell me she want us to be buried side by side when we die. And I'm like, look, it says till death do us part. <laughs> I'm getting on holes in the afterlife. I'm dating and meeting women in the afterlife. We could be friends, but I'm not... <laughs> You're not about to stalk me for eternity. I get be like, Jesus, get her ass away from me. We talk about Jesus coming back. I don't know if Jesus would want to come back in the day's times. You know why? Because people keep taking pictures and trying to be on Instagram with Jesus. I think it'll piss him off. Yeah, I mean, it'll piss Jesus off, man. Come up, Jesus, can I get a pic? You know, Jesus be mad one day. Jesus, can I get a picture? No! No more damn pictures. I'm tired of this now. And this dude get mad. Man, that's messed up, Jesus. I've been worshiping you all this time. I can't get a picture of me and my son. I'm about to be Muslim on your ass. I'm <laughs> going to get my oil changed today. I'm tired of getting my oil changed. I, I wish they would just change the oil. I know the car raggedy. I don't, I don't need you to do nothing. Just change the damn oil. You ever get your oil chain and always show you something? They walk up with something. Uh, excuse me, uh, sir, about every 85,000 miles, you might want to get this flushed out. Man, put my transmission back in the car and let me get out of here. <laughs> I came here for an oil chain, not for you to take the car apart. <laughs> if, if a mechanic, if you're waiting to get your car fixed and a mechanic come out there to show you something, that means you better spend a lot of money. And I hate that. They always do the same thing. Uh, is, is this you uh, with this red car? Come on in and let me show you what we got. <laughs> this is not looking good. Now, you came, for the, you came for the tire rotation. Is that right? This whole damn motor going to have to come out of here to get to the damn tire. <laughs> and mechanic never give you the price. He always make you go talk to the little hater that work in the, in, behind the desk. A little hater working around there, man. You ask him how much, he do a little hater giggle. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, how much is going to be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me one second here. And they do the most haterific thing in the world. They, they tell you the, the price of the part first. That's how they get you. All right. Well, uh, your part is $14. And you're like, whoa, yes. But your labor's 3000 God damn! 
Y'all had mechanics and heart surgeons working in the back of the. Yeah, <laughs> that motor got to come out the tires. Got to take the roof off. <laughs> Just to get to the gasket you got in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. That was a Kroger today. Old people, are real, it, I, let me tell you something. Not all old people, but it is some mean-ass old people <laughs> out here. I was at Kroger today. I didn't have my Kroger card, which is the rewards card. Didn't have the card. So I asked this old lady who was standing in line if I could use her card. You know, because I ain't had my one to get to sale. Like, ma'am, I see your card right quick uh, to get to sale. She looked at me, oh, uh-uh, you ain't going to mess my name up. It ain't a credit card. It's a rewards card. Just give me the card so I can get to sale. I started the elbow right in the back. Old people be in the way when you check it out, man. Especially them old men don't know how to check out at the register. Don't know how to use a debit machine. It ain't that hard, man. Just swipe your card, put your pen in, walk off. They look at the debit machine like it's, like it's something they've never seen before. You in line, they tell them it'll be 22 15. Oh, all right, let me take a look. Okay, sir, you need to swipe your card. Oh, you say swipe it. Okay, there we go. All right, didn't do nothing. Okay, sir, if you read it, you got to put your pen in. Oh, oh, my pen. Now they tell him to put the pen in. This is what he does. There's people in line. Okay, this is what he does. You say put in the pen? Yes, sir. Okay, hold on one second. Excuse me, could y'all turn around while I put my pen in, please? <laughs> you know they like to steal around here. <laughs> now people that listen to him turned around. That is him putting the pen in. Now you know you in trouble. When old people go to hit the keys on the computer and do this right here. <laughs> like the keys about to bite their fingers. So this is him putting the pen in. Okay, here we go. All right, eight, nine, three. Could you turn around, please? Don't let one of them write a check. They write a check. That take an hour to write a check. They don't just write the check. They got to write the check. Balance their checkbook, go over a grocery list, write a letter to the president. <laughs> so, be for a small amount, six dollars. All right, sir, that'd be six dollars. All right, I'm gonna write you a check. They always lick the pen. <laughs> They're like, one day they're gonna get ink and just bust. <laughs> ah! <laughs> lick the pen. All right, I'm gonna write you a check. Okay, all right, there we go. You say six dollars? Okay, six. Dollars. Okay, do I make it out to you? <laughs> I got you with that one then. <laughs> okay, to the store. All right. And how do you spell that? CVS! Come on! Let's go! <laughs> Taking too long. I talked to my dad today, man. My dad, he take him 40 minutes. He's older. I mean, take him 30 minutes to pick up the cell phone. You ever talk to them old cats? They struggle to pick up the phone. You could hear, you could hear shit dropping in the background. <laughs> B- before they pick the phone up and say hello, you could hear th- just chaos. Just every time I call my dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to pick up. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, everything's all right. Yep, uh huh. Yeah, we all right. We just sitting in here doing a little something. something. We all right. And my dad long winded too. Yeah, I call him to say hi. He keep on talking. I can't get another word in. He talked to me for an hour and a half. Won't even break. No, no. Just don't stop. Just go. <laughs> I'm saying hi. Now this is always. You know, I'm late for work. I got places to go. People to see. Same thing. Every time I call, phone. <laughs> 
Yellow. Hey, Dad, what's going on? Hey, boy, I'm all right. I got to go down to Social Security off next week getting my check. Then, you know, I'm going down to Home Depot, get about two flat of sheetrock, four by seven, eight by nine, ten by four. You know, your cousin Tony came in and stole my goddamn ladder last week. I told him you ain't going to take my ladder and my goddamn money. I don't know who really think he was to do that, man. It don't make no one minute sense. But your mama said you're supposed to be coming around here. And I always taught you, boy, you're going to be a man, be a man in your damn world. I'm just so happy Barack Obama didn't pass health care. You know, a lot of people sick and things up there. You got to get the medication that you need. But to make a long story short, I'm going to talk to you later. I'm like, damn. That's why he lost his job. He used to be a 911 operator. They fired his ass. The dude ended up getting shot. My dad happened to be at work. It was a bad day for him. He dialed 911 for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 Now one one, how may I help you? Yeah, I just been shot. Uh huh. You down there doing something you ain't got no goddamn business doing. See, you want a gang bang and thug and bug? It's a price you got to pay for that. But I got to go down to Social Security office next week getting my check. And I'm running down to Home Depot getting about two plies of sheetrock, four by eight, nine by four, and a ten by seven. I'm just so glad Barack Obama didn't pass. Hef Hello, hello, hello. We done lost another one. Just they ran his ass up out of there. Man is long-winded and crazy. They had to just say dumb stuff, man. They just say just stupid stuff. You know what I mean? Because I grew up in Chicago. I'm from the south side of Chicago. We got really, really cold winters and hot summers. And nothing would drive him cra more crazy if, if the, the AC on and the window open. He just go off and say something stupid. He was coming up, God damn it. You done left that damn window open? Do you think I can cool off Chicago? I'm like, hell no, nah, I don't think you can cool off Chicago. <laughs> what the hell you think gonna happen? The weather man gonna come? It was a whopping 92 degrees in Chicago, but we had a sudden dip in the temperature. <laughs> Fortunately, Herman Walker's son, LeVar, left the window open, cooling the whole city down to a whopping 71 degrees. Who gonna pay for this shit? <laughs> My daddy get that high ass bill. I always want to adjust shit. You done got the bill. You got to pay for it now. You get the electric bill. You turn the shit down. God damn it. Electric bill. I'm ridiculous. I lose my key. Go crazy. Yeah. Like, Dad, I lost my key. What the heck? What do you mean you lost the key? I, I lost my house key. You want somebody to just walk in here? Now. My thing is, like, out of all the keys in the world, this person gonna pick up this key and know to come to our house. Like, it's just gonna be some random nigga come up from the basement. Hey, who the hell are you? Well, found this key in the park. It, see, that's what I'm talking about. Well, my dad don't like people, he, this is what he say. He say, like, if he can't stand somebody, I can't stand that thing. I tell you what, I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, so, so, wait, let me get this right. So, Dad, I know you love me, so if I'm burning on fire, that's the first thing you would think to do is piss on me? <laughs> oh, shit, he don't, hold on. <laughs> Like, what kind of piss do you have to put out a fire? <laughs> now they older, man. My mom called. My mom called. She tried to put me, like, in their little business. You know what I'm saying? Like, she tried to make me, like, talk to my dad if they get into it or something. You know what I mean? So she had called phone. Hello. Hey, LeVar, it's your mama. Now, I don't know why she do that, because I got call ID. I know it's you. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, mama? LeVar, your daddy is mean as hell. Let me tell you what he does. <laughs> when we in front of people, he real nice and lovey-dovey to me. When people come over, he nice and lovey-dovey. But when we are alone, he is mean as hell. I went down in the basement. I said, Herman, do you want to go to the park? He looked at me. Get the hell out of my goddamn face. I don't want to go to no damn park. LeVar, you need to talk to your daddy and tell him. All right. Oh, okay, Mom, I will. You want to speak to him now? Damn. <laughs> All right, Mom. Hold on.
Hello. Hey, Dale, what's going on? Hey, boy, just sitting here loving your mama. <laughs> I just put a little rose petal and ran us some bath water, and uh, I'm making sausages right now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like oh, okay, Dad. Because uh, uh, mama say you be treating them mean with y'all alone. Oh, boy, you know your mama crazy. She crazy. <laughs> But I love her to death. Yes, I do. And they're like, all right, Dad. All right, son. No, all right. All right. <laughs> it's hard to get off the phone. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Dad. Yep. Okay. You take care now. All right. Goodbye. All right. Bye. <laughs> now, he thought he hung up the phone, but he didn't hang up for I could hear them talking. So he gets up the phone. All right. Goodbye, son. Bitch, did you tell this boy we having problems? That's the shit I'm talking about. You trying to cause problems with me and my sons. I mean, you left the phone off the hook. LeVar, did you hear that? I just hung up. I got the hell on. I say, I am not about to do this. <laughs> I was watching that. I've been watching, keeping up with the presidential debates, man. I was watching uh, Ben Carson. Ben Carson said the dumbest shit. Like, Ben Carson said that Obamacare is worse than slavery. I'm like, man, you have to be insane. Okay, to be like Obamacare, so people can have access to health care. Slavery, get your ass beat, you can't go nowhere, you working for free, it's hot, you picking cotton, and sweating, and stinking, and everything. Hey, it don't make no sense. Like, what slave was out there getting, getting beat? You getting beat as a slave, it is what happened. <laughs> Woo! Lord has mercy. That wasn't that bad. Why you say that? Because they got a thing in the futures called Obama's care. <laughs> That's where people is going to get free health cares and be able to get medication and stuff like that. I take slavery any day <laughs> before I take Obama's care. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is insane. How many of y'all go to work and just be in the parking lot looking at the building like, damn, I don't feel like this today. <laughs> oh, my God. I just wish this thing could catch on fire. I'm just tired. <laughs> Lord knows I'm tired. <laughs> One time I was on my way to work. I was contemplating on calling in dead. I just really want to. <laughs> I ain't going to be able to make it today. What's the problem? I died last night. Man. I'll be alive in three days, though, so if I can come back. Yeah. Tired of my job, man. I went to school. I'm, I haven't been. I'm, I'm a comedian. I'm a pharmacist, too. I have a PharmD degree. And uh, went to school several years, studied a lot of hard sciences, biochemistry, organic physics, all these hard-ass sciences. But yet I find myself every morning working behind the cash register, bringing up cookies and juice and dog food and milk. <laughs> Cereal, and I just don't think I'm getting the respect that I deserve <laughs> as a proper healthcare professional. And people make me sick. Like people just got stupid ass questions all the time. I'm at work, you know what I mean? And being a pharmacist is rough. We gotta verify your medicines and correct a lot of your doctor's mistakes. And um, you want the medicine like it's Burger King, two minutes. Well, that's fine, but just give me some time, okay? I got stuff to do. I remember work yesterday, guy came with a stupid question. Had a nerve, had two teeth in his mouth. Had the nerve to ask me where the teeth whitening was at. I said, hey man, if you don't just wipe them two damn teeth off and get out of my face, I'm gonna jump over this cash register and attack you, man. I deal with races at work, man. It's racist, dude. He came, came in there and cussed me out. You're incompetent. I swear all you black niggers make me sick. I was like, okay, you know. But I ain't even getting mad because I watched him get in his house and drive off. <laughs> I was like, man, you losing it. Like, that's the first time I saw a Winnebago with a chimney on it. That's, <laughs> I wasn't even mad at him, man. I'm just dealing with all them people. See, I'm a young black pharmacist, so they sent me to the hood. They, I don't know what it is. I find myself working in the ghetto a lot of times. And uh, I work with them hood rat pharmacy technicians who get them 
who get them Everest certificates and think they physicians in the back of the damn store. One girl showed up with a stethoscope on to work taking blood pressures on aisle five. I'm like, if you don't get your ass back here and count these pills and quit. <laughs> it's going to be something. <laughs> Whenever you work with a hood rat, they like to bring their problems from home. They like to bring the problems to the job. You know what I mean? So they'd be professional one minute, be helping you. And when somebody called home with some trouble, everybody in the store, it was going on. They like, okay. Y'all got two medications pick up? Okay, give me one second. Give me one second. Oh, is that the phone? Is that for me? Pharmacy department? No, no, Tony, bring my goddamn car up here. I get off work at 8 o'clock, I swear to God, you do this every damn day, and you better pick up the baby. Goodbye. How many uh, medications was that again? <laughs> you know, working in the hood, you deal with a lot of people on Medicaid. I ain't got nothing against nobody on Medicaid. I grew up on Medicaid. It's cool. I read this lady up the other day. She had seven medications. This shit was a dollar. One dollar. I said, hey, man, for all seven meds, it's going to be a dollar. <gasps> a dollar? Sir, I don't have a dollar. Well, you about to die today. <laughs> said, if you don't have four quarters or ten dimes, you don't deserve to be on the earth. And get this $2,500 Louis Vuitton bag and get the hell out of my face. Your priorities are wrong. And if any of you women got more than one baby's father, give all them kids one last name. Because that saves me time from having to go to 14 different baskets, picking all that shit out of the bag. I'm picking up for Tavarius Green, uh, Walter Jones, uh, Mickey Smith and Julio Alvarez. Damn, you got a Mexican baby too? <laughs> kind of. This is crazy. <laughs> Never work a job where they got your picture on the wall. People point you out. God damn it, I dropped my prescription off here yesterday. I don't understand why it's not ready. Matter of fact, I dropped it off with this guy right here. I don't know where he's at. I wonder where he lives. That's why my picture on the wall like this. Like. <laughs> I deal with races at work. I did this one racist cat, man. He came in there. Cuss me out. Just cuss me out. God damn it. You, all, you niggers are all the same. You're goddamn uncompetent and you're lazy. And I, you know, I ain't even get mad. You know why? Because I watched him get in his house and drive off. <laughs> I said, man, you are losing in life. I, that was the first time I saw a mobile home with a chimney on it. I said, damn. <laughs> I have to deal with them foreigners, man. Them Africans get them attitudes. Africans get them attitudes. Nigerian getting mad. I couldn't understand his last name. Now, instead of him... Sounding clear, re repeating the last name, he get loud and mad. But I can understand every cuss word crystal clear. <laughs> and I ain't do never ask dude, I said, man, could you preach your name? He just get ticked off in front of me. <laughs> Pharmacy department, may I help you? Hello, uh, this is Alewondo Ontundo. Uh, I'm like, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't understand your name. Could you repeat that, please? Alewondo Ontundo. Who are you to give me the trouble you are giving to me? Who is your superior? I do not have to take this shit from you. I want to know who your superior is. I am tired of this shit. <laughs> I told his black ass, let me tell you something. You might have been a mighty king in Africa, but you a cab driver in America. <laughs> and I don't have to sit up and take this shit. And I got cookies and juice, and dog food, and milk, and cereal to ring up. And then Mexican came in the pharmacy, and he, this guy wanted to play a game of charades with me. <laughs> because I don't speak Spanish, he don't speak English. We going back and forth playing charades. And I knew he couldn't speak English, because he gave me the look when, when he walked in. He gave me this look here. Hey. Hey. <laughs> like the sun in his eye. Hey, hey. hey Spanish? No Spanish? Yeah, no Spanish. <laughs> yeah, no Spanish. Yeah, the, the baby, the baby, the sick. <coughs> yeah, the sick of the baby. Yeah, no, no. Now, after going back and forth for an hour and 45 minutes, 
he finally decides to come up with the bright idea to talk to his little son that's been standing by him the whole time that speaks fluent English. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, what my father's trying to say is my little baby brother's suffering from a cough, and uh, what aisle are your cookies and juice in? Get the hell out of my damn face <laughs> while I slap you and your damn daddy for wasting my time. I don't have time for this right now. I got a lady call me every day, play with my intelligence, man. It's an old lady. I know it's her because she sound like a bird when she call. I know it's her, but she like to call me and spell out her last name and give me a word for every letter in the last name. Now, I think she's playing my intelligence because it's a simple last name. Phone. <laughs> Pharmacy department, I'm going to help you. Hi, this is Mary Flock. F as in Frank, L as in Larry, O as in octopus, C as in cat. K is a kite, flock, like a flock of birds. I'm like, that's great, Miss Flock, but I don't give a F as in Frank, U as an umbrella, C as a cat, K as a kite. You call again, I'll put the wrong medication in your bottle and kill your old ass, because right now you're trying to play with my intelligence and talk to me like I'm three years old. I don't have time for this shit. I got cookies and juice and milk and cereal to bring up, and you messing with the wrong one. Now, fortunately, Miss Flock calls, and at least she gives me the right word for every letter in her name. I found out one of the customers couldn't read because he gave me the wrong word for each letter in his name. Phone me. Phone me, Mr. may help you. Uh, hello, this is Jose, J as in dog, O as in cat, S as in bit. No, no, that's not right. Uh, okay, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> this is too much, man. Too much. It's funny too. Them, them old men, they they come in there. They, one one old cat, he thought he had the wrong medicine. I could tell. I knew I knew he thought he had the wrong medicine because when people think they got the wrong medicine, they hold the, they walk through the store like the pill bottle is a torch and they hold it up. They walk all the way in there like this. I'm like, what's the problem? I think you done gave me the wrong shit. I say, excuse me? I think you done gave me the wrong shit. I'm like, well, let me take a look at it. No, nah, this is the Viagra that you ordered. <laughs> There's a prescription. You can see this is right. Well... Then he get a bear. Well, the shit ain't working right. I said, what? I said, the shit ain't working right. I said, well, what's the problem? I took one yesterday, and my dick only got hard in the middle. I said, what? <laughs> I said, my dick only got hard in the middle. I just... I just told him to fold it over and put it in like a wallet and get the hell out of my damn face because I don't have time for this. Uh, if you're only getting hard in the middle, I don't know what you want me to do. You better tie, you better tie it up in a knot or something. Go see a urologist. Damn it. I don't have time. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. It's funny, man, dealing with them old cats. One old cat, he got mad. He little be the prices was real high on the medicine. And um I rang him up, he had two of the medications. And um it was two hundred and twenty five dollars fifteen cents. I said, Look, Mr. Charles is gonna be two twenty five fifteen. Damn. Shit, I don't know why they got to pull up on their pants with this. God damn. And when the price high, he got to talk to everybody in line. To tell them his problem. Just waste my damn time. Hey, Mr. Charles will be 225 Damn. This shit is ridiculous. They talking $225 in 15 cents for medication. This don't make no damn sense. I thought Obama passed the health care. 
Now, when the price high, Mr. Charles won't get comfortable at the cash register. Mr. Charles, it'll be two twenty-five fifteen. Shit. <laughs> God damn. That's for both of them. <laughs> Whew. I'll tell you what you do. You keep the blood pressure medicine and give me the Viagra. Let me get the hell up on out of here. <laughs> now he come back three days later with a, with a heart on his chest hurting. <laughs> young man, young man, do you have the blood pressure medication? No, I said the blood pressure medication. Please don't let me die in this store, son. Please, just throw a pill in my mouth. Help me. Please, I'm just, my chest is hurting. It's on fire. Oh, God, the choices we make. I just made the wrong decision, dear Lord. Oh, my God, I'm dying. Tell my wife I love her. Oh, Lord. It finally got hard all the way. It's not just the middle. <laughs> now his ass done died in front of the store. And it's sad. I went to the funeral. They had to have an open casket funeral. They couldn't even <laughs> shut the... <laughs> My cousin, she, she a lesbian or whatever, and um, unfortunately she in an abusive relationship with her lesbian lover. And um, she called the police, but every time she called the police on her lover, man, like she one of them hardcore, one of the butch kind of dudes, you know what I mean, dressed like me. You know what I mean, one of them types, you know what I mean? You know, hat to the back, titties taped down. She one of them, <laughs> you know, little chain wallet. <laughs> but every time she called the police on her, Every time the police come over there, she put on a dress and pearls and high heels. <laughs> <laughs> she be telling this shit, I don't give a fuck. You, you can call the police, bitch. But you know what? I'm going to turn back into a woman all the way. <laughs> and at the end of the day, it's just going to be two bitches fighting. That's it. <laughs> so get in the kitchen and cook my motherfucking food. <laughs> And get my dick out of the briefcase right now. Because I'm about to tear that ass up. <laughs> Got to assemble that goddamn dick. <laughs> That's messed up, boy. You lose your dick. Are you a lesbian? You know what I mean? You about to get some ass. Hold up. I'm about to tear this ass up. Got that shit in the briefcase. Oh, oh shit! God damn! Hold on one second. Fuck, let me call it. Hello? Yo! Is, is my dick over there? No, look in the top drawer and see if my dick over there. What? The dog got my dick? God damn! I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, well, you guys have been a great crowd. That's my time. Uh, your money's run out. Uh, that's how I do, man. You know what I mean? When it's over, you hit the clock, get off. It's like it work, you know what I mean? Get off sometimes 10 o'clock at night. I shut the gate. 9.55, I'm about to close. I might be late every day. But I'm on time getting the hell up out of there. <laughs> I am on time. So I, one time I was at work, I get off at 10, 9.55. You know what I mean? I saw a cat come in. I'm like, oh, maybe getting some bread or some cat food or something. Nope. Had the prescription in his hand. <laughs> old as hell. Look like he's about 200 years old. Five minutes ago, he in there walking like this. Attention shoppers, the store will be closing in five minutes. (laughs) 
I ain't get out there at 10.30. When I tell you, I made sure, I gave him double doses of the wrong medicine to kill his old ass. <laughs> well, that is the last time he will ever do that to me or anybody else. But my name is LeVar Walker, man. I appreciate y'all for coming out and uh, supporting. Um, y'all can follow me on Instagram, LeVar Walker, and uh, just Google me, man. And that's it. I don't know what y'all, what else y'all want to see. <laughs> y'all really don't want me to leave, huh? I don't really want to go either. I shouldn't even be here tonight. I, t I told my wife I was going to pump gas. <laughs> She think I'm out getting gas right now, boy. <laughs> My wife can get real jealous at times. It's hilarious, man. I, I told her one time, she got me a sweater. And I said, you know what, baby, remember that sweater you got? She was like, yeah. I was like, this lady gave me a compliment on it. She said it was nice. And what did you say? <laughs> I, 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 said, I said, thank you. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> The bitch was trying to holler at you, but you too damn dumb to see that shit. You kicking and shit in her face and all that. I'm like, well, how the hell I'm supposed to, I guess she wanted me to uh, answer this lady's question differently. I was supposed to do it like this. Baby, you remember that sweater you got me? This lady said it was a nice sweater. And what did you say? I said, bitch, you think you slick. <laughs> you trying to holler at me. But it ain't gonna happen. And I pushed her down and ran off. That's what you were supposed to do. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> All right, that's it. My name is LeVar Walker, man. Appreciate y'all for coming out. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate it.